The attacks just keep coming. As today, we firstly begin by checking in with Kikichi Sue, who we can confirm had their YouTube channel terminated due to an exploit in YouTube. That being, even if the channel is set to subscriber-only mode, Super Chat messages can still appear, proving once again money talks, as we have evidence here in a screenshot that we have now censored, with Kiki at least now reporting good news. That being, I was nodding off and my account was back up. I'm glad it's back up and running. Sorry for worrying you guys. But that's not one of the only challenges right now facing VTubers, as here we have the virtual girl group ASOL, launched in late 2020, and is a joint venture between a Chinese record label, as well as ByteDance, who are the owners of a very small independent tech company you may know as TikTok. And while they do have a small presence on YouTube, they have an absolutely gigantic presence on other Chinese social media sites, and so it came as a massive surprise when this news rolled out that their main vocalist, Carol, would be graduating. The official announcement cited health problems, but now other news has come out, especially regarding the financial problems that this group has, with reports stating that some of the towns could earn up to 300,000 USD a month, but would receive less than 1% of that themselves, as in the talent only takes home $1,000, despite earning a quarter of a million dollars in a single month. This covered extensively in a Dow Insight article, failing not only the financial background, but also bringing into question the reason for the graduation, stating that the health problems reasoning was not correct, and instead this came by way of abuse by management of ASOL, calling the behavior of management as if they were pickup artists. This news sending shockwaves in the scene in China, where this very record label had recently tried to go public, and even mentioning their virtual talent performers 63 times in their public statement, making clear that they were a cornerstone of their growth. And now today we have an attack that we just can't believe. That being against Vom's project's Pikimi Amano, an incredibly beloved figure in the scene, taking to Twitter last night to let us know I recently haven't watched my marshmallow. That being a website in which users can anonymously send in questions to the talent. Pikimi continuing on to say, I did check today and I'm closing marshmallow. Thanks to people who gave me a wholesome one, to people who gave me a mean negative one. I hope you will hit your toe to be fridged so hard. Pikamiya naturally would receive lots of support by other VTubers, including Nijisanji English's Pomu Rainpop, Girl DM, Sarue, Giri, and Snuffy, saying, love you. I hope their fridge is made of sharp metal. Along with Prison Project's Iku Hoshi Fury, responding, I also had to close my morrow. Too many people think being anonymous means they can say anything they want. This now being the second time that Pikami has closed her marshmallow due to negative comments. Pikami at least has been busy with other streams receiving these wiggly emotes that can be downloaded for free, along with other wiggle emotes of other popular independent VTubers. As recently, Pikami had a totally innocent collab with Shy Lily, Hey Son, and the Jiggly Whale Girl, Bao, who has gone on record saying, I just want to be spoiled, with Sayu not four minutes later saying, I got you. And Bao also recently played with fire to great success, streaming a smash or pass of VTubers. Let's take a look at one of the entries. God. Damn, I just want to go smash. But Val's number one collab partner can be seen here, coming by way of Honky Orca in this work entitled Hello Princess Cannot Sleep Without Her Cosmic Dragon, that being Cloud9's Vienna, showing off her fresh new look from yesterday. With Val saying, there's just no one I love more than Vienna in this entire world, with the two being a part of some bub artwork, saying happy one year Vienna. I feel so honored to be able to share my art alongside so many skilled individuals. Here's to another year of Vienna, with Val even showing up in the lore video for Vienna's one year anniversary yesterday. Video artwork provided by Maddie, also saying thank you for the opportunity. And other friendly commissions, like Rythlin getting this commission from Sarwe, saying I love you both so much. Happy one year anniversary Mommy Vienna. As nearly two dozen artists were a part of this celebration, including Viugen's Uni publishing Sakura Vienna and Iron Vertex's Brian Chewy confirming that he was the one that worked on the live 2D of Vienna 3.0. And that wasn't all. As yesterday also saw 
saw the release of Vienna's new album, Celestial, confirming the album is EMCA free. And who we would love to see an album from sometime this year is Amelie, aka Monarch, landing this important statement, look at this cute angel, and once again proving herself to be a villain. Shoving out a poll asking about cereal, do you pour out the cereal first or the milk first? And unhappy with the poll results, saying, I disown you all. Milk first is so much better, you can pour little amounts of cereal at a time so it never gets mushy. Yes, this psychopath VTuber would then take to the battlefield and Apex Legends today, that being alongside Hall Live Indonesia's Haraji Ali and Irani EO15, fresh from having her YouTube channel return from a termination, and also saying, I'm gonna shoot your heart, along with FYI, I love my thumbnail. Also with Hall Live, we have Takanashi Kiara sending out this urgent message today. This as Valkyrie Connect posted her full new look for their collaboration, complete with lots of very skillful exposure here. Valkyrie Connect had invited four talents to take part in the full collaboration, further showing off this design for Usada Pakora with Hall Live Japan, who took to the stream with La Plus Darkness talking about this particular gacha game, saying how they were very envious of not only Kiara's dress size, but also that she was allowed to expose her belly button. And we can confirm the Hall Live bump is real. Game now experiencing a three times multiplier in player count on multiple platforms. And yes, Kiara is still in an off collab vacation with Pavolia Rainey of Hall Live Indonesia, giving us this intimate look with OMG, we came back from the breakfast and then showing off what was in their bathtub. Kiara would further state, we didn't ask for this. I was like, is this a mistake? Gonna use it though. And use it they did. Recreated here in this work by the always timely Jazz Jack. Further with Hall Live Japan, we have Mamazuzu Nene. Still frightened for playing a horror game on stream, but also very proud of her brand new room saying Nene's new house is so cute, as once again the Hall Live backgrounds go above and beyond, including today this new background, that being for Sakamata Chloe of Hall Live Japan Gen 6, celebrating her birthday today with a countdown stream and a proper call-in stream, and earning 87,000 USD between the both of them. Chloe would be joined on stream by her brand new mascot, Inu, aka Dog, along with showing off a brand new hairstyle, and now even taking off her jacket during some hypnosis roleplay. Oh my. And oh my, we even have some hot and heavy wet ribcage action here. This being a gift from Chloe's character illustrator, remarking once again, happy birthday and saying hello to you again now that you have long hair. And no, that wasn't all. We also had a brand new cover song by Chloe. And yes, birthday merch, including not only a bracelet, but even a choker. This smelly orca tuber also received lots of well wishes from other VTubers, including these pink carnations from Natsuhiro Matsuri. Chloe later donning the captain's hat. Yes, that's right. It's from Hall Live Japan's Hosho Marine. With fans organizing a birthday celebration project late with this very wild concept. That's right. They're taking to the sea or at least to Victoria Harbor going full pirate on a wooden boat. And while they have an uphill battle trying to raise $42,000 in a week, the concept is still incredibly novel. Now moving over to V Shoujo, we have Ruth simply tweeting out 2023. Uh, is that going going to be the time that we see the results of the V Shoujo auditions. Well, time will tell. But also telling is V Shoujo's Iron Mouth, taking to her stream last night with these new assets and confirming that while her parents are set to go on vacation in July, she's currently planning out a new subathon for that time so she doesn't get lonely. Saying at that time she should be moved into her new house with brand new fiber internet for a stronger and more consistent connection. And here we have the Phase Connect VTuber agency collabing with with the Sundaria Agency in a series of free fun community matches, allowing viewers to sign up and play with the community and fight alongside the talent, while also fighting is Production Kawaii. Now with 19 days left on their ongoing Kickstarter for 3D models for all of their eight talents, and showing these off. Tweeting out, we have finalized all the designs for our Kickstarter exclusive acrylic stands. Thank you for your amazing support so far. And speaking of support, we now turn to our co-host, Lady, for more VTuber news. Thanks. Next false, this always hungry VTuber, Rui Panda, announces their time for a re-debut, excited to showcase their new model this May 20th, with the latest new model being worked on by Mio Yo, including here a third teaser of what looks like to be
be a very breedable panda. Cybergirl VTuber Chibi Doki tweets this adorable image, saying today is a good day so far, while also blessing our timelines with a blonde Chibi. She has also recently showcased her latest 3D model reveal, which is very, very cute. I, I, I love the 360 head spin. It's adorable. Musical artist and streamer Waifu Baby now has their song Soju out on all music streaming platforms, while also introducing Giga for the first time live, also bringing out this invitation saying come party with me and Giga in VR chat on May 20th and 21st, so make sure to RSVP on my Patreon, where you too can join Waifu on Giga. I mean, who would want to miss out on these dance moves? Oh, so cute! VTuber merchandise company Illusion Ryuville announces their latest merch drop for VTuber to win tails. Sales going on from May 12th to May 26th. Some items being acrylic stands, double-sided keychains, as well as a plushie, which to win unfortunately announces is already sold out, but the second batch will be coming up for pre-orders at the end of May, so be on the lookout. We also have Yutano Pandora dropping in Illusion Stores for a voice pack, which is free. And now, back to you, Falls. Thank you, lady. And thank you to Mother J. Fern, posting this artwork and saying, I found a neat VTuber who does VTuber news. Also has a cool design, so of course I draw it. I really enjoy having someone who delivers news in a fun and fresh way. And this is fresh off the presses. Yes, we now hit 70 thousand subscribers thank you thank you all well we also want you to know that we will have multiple big announcements on june 1st as we have very big plans for this year and that is all for this episode feel free to like comment and subscribe below send your vtuber news to our discord record hours ahead of time on twitch and we'll have more things vtubers say for you soon